How is he going everyone? Welcome to another episode of our Subnautica Below Zero adventure. Thanks so much for being here. We are exactly where we left off. Our base is getting a ton of upgrades and stuff, which is so cool. We have the bioreactor here. Pretty sure, yep, that's what it's called. <laughs> we have so much to do today. We ended on a really cool note as well because we we found right the laser cutter which we need for a bunch of things and today is going to be awesome i'm super pumped to be playing some more of this today we actually got to use the sea truck a bunch in the last episode as well which is a massive game changer we have new upgrades for it so it can go deeper than ever before and things are starting to come together here right so there's so much i want to do today because usually it's about like a week for me to you know record this game it's usually a week in between but actually at the time of this episode i just recorded yesterday um so i've had a lot of thinking to do about what i want to do in today's episode uh, a couple of things because it's been very stressful let's say going down constantly and losing oxygen so one of the things i want to do is make some new oxygen tanks because i used to do that a bunch in my last series and it totally would save me a bunch it just makes life so much easier and then another thing i've been thinking about is my sloth truck i can definitely do better than that i love naming things so i was kind of thinking like all right what would I want to name my, you know, my sloth truck? So let me see. <laughs> let me see if this fits. I want to name it something a little bit different. This is the idea I had, all right? Sloth? Imus? Prime. Oh, it's so close. So, so close. I think Slothimus is awesome, though. So I wanted to do Slothimus Prime because it's a truck right and it's like optimus prime so we got slothimus over here we can't fit it all together but i'm going to keep it as slothimus that makes me happy it is it was so important right like this was something we needed to do <laughs> let's go ahead and change the color a little bit as well to a uh a bit of a red we'll be representing today a tiny bit like the autobots right sick man yeah, I think this is going to be so much fun. I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy to be playing this. Let's go, Slothamus! Finally! It's so funny, like, this is what I've been thinking about. I'm just, like, awake in the middle of the night thinking about Subnautica Below Zero. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really awesome. So we have Slothamus. That's really great. Today's going to be so much fun, everyone. Let's jump in the water. Get back with those Below Zero vibes take a look at our base we got the moon pool we've got so much so let's actually go ahead have some of this and let's take a look at what it takes to build a bunch of these things right because we want to build a laser cutter this is huge very important and we also there are so many things we want to build for crying out loud there's another thing i really want to build as well uh the jukebox I think would be so much fun. Is this the episode where we finally create the jukebox? <laughs> That'd be so much fun, I think, right? Incredible. I'm excited to see what that is. And I was told the music is all copyright free, DMCA free. So, you know, as a YouTuber, that can be such a stressful thing when you just get hit by those copyright claims and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is very nice. This is so easy. So I think for our next trick is we're just going to make a couple aboard, make a couple of oxygen tanks i think is really important because i i was really confident at least one i think just one is good enough to have one extra you know because there were so many amazing places i wanted to go explore and there's this constant stress of not uh not being able to stay alive like i actually died already once in this playthrough i was really hoping this would be a complete playthrough without deaths now i mean who am i trying to kid i knew i was going to die we all we all knew it was going to happen there's no way <laughs> and i was just getting way too comfortable uh so i would have survived if it wasn't for those meddling kids that one dog and the lack of oxygen right so if we have more oxygen tanks we should be gravy i also really want to go down there again where margaret is 
and see what was down there because I feel like I may have missed something. I haven't ed like edited that video yet. A lot of times when I'm recording because I record and then I post videos up, I am able to edit the videos and then I can see things uh, and see if like I missed anything or stuff like that, you know? But like I said, oh my gosh, we actually just completely destroyed it. I just recorded the other ones yesterday. There has been no editing whatsoever. So we're just gonna be cruising and see what we can find. A whole lot of awesome stuff. We also got a taste of the dead zone yesterday, which was about as inviting as I would have imagined. So this is the fiber mesh. This is exactly what we need. Let's make a bunch of this. Oh, we actually need to uh, make one battery, which is totally fine. We've been really smart about our ribbon plants. Let's turn this off and I should have like a pretty decent amount of cords. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. So now we, we can make three oxygen tanks. I don't remember if these make you move slower or not. When you have a bunch in your inventory. I only want to make one extra. So we can make this. Check this out. Standard O2 tank. We finally made a compass as well, uh, which is a long, it was so long overdue. Yeah, I should try actually making a little coffee machine. I really want to test out that thermos. We're also always thirsty. I really would love the water filtration suit, but it's not time yet. Now we can do the high capacity. Let's go, we have a high capacity tank. I know I made a massive mistake before. So <laughs> I remember in Subnautica 1, when you make these tanks, they don't start with the oxygen all the way. So you need to swap over and there it goes. It's filling up. How nice is that? So I was under the impression the first game, like, hey, you make it, it's already ready to go, right? But no, it was like oxygen not included, right? Sold separately. This is hidden base right here. Okay. Well then, now let's go ahead and... Out of curiosity. Right, we got so many cool things, man. So, like, the sea truck dock sounds really sick, but we do need high power for that. Um, yeah, a lot of really cool things, but just for, like, a tiny little thing, not anything too crazy, let's just make, like, a coffee vending machine. Put it a little bit close to uh, our entrance and... We have two things already. So there we go, we've got some coffee. The sweet scent of dirty bean water. <laughs> the sweet scent of dirty bean water. I gotta use that, right? When I'm going into all these places. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm with you, Frosty. I'm not a fan of coffee. But this isn't just a coffee machine. This is a also a hot chocolate machine is what I'm going to say. That is what our character is drinking, is, is hot chocolate. So, let me grab the thermos. Here it is. I gotta test this out. Please tell me. Please let this work. I have yet to use this thing. Coffee vending machine. Something's happening. It's filling it up. I might need to make another thermos. <laughs> what? We did it, right? It's all working. That's so sick. Let's go. It's completed. What? It doesn't even give you more. It just it gives you body heat. It doesn't give you any more H2O. It actually does the opposite. It gets rid of H2O. It's a load of barnacles, everyone. It just gives us body heat. I mean, we're not in the need, like we don't need that right now. We do not need that, but... Oh well. Maybe eventually, you know what? We are going to be using the laser cutter to go into like an iceberg. So maybe that's like freezing cold. Now we can get rid of this. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. 
Um, let's go ahead and make a regular battery, which is super easy. And we should have enough. I'm pretty sure we have that sulfur here. Hmm. I know. I, I could have swore we had that sulfur, guys. Don't tell me I just left it all. <sighs> I may have left it in the other base. Which would uh, be a bit of a bummer. Yeah. Just going to take a look at the modification station. And see if there's anything we could use. Anything really great. I mean, I guess the thermal blade. Alright, let's make this battery really quick. Here's our battery. We have that, and uh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and make a med pack because we ran out of med packs. We've been attacked a bunch lately. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty good. We need a tiny bit of titanium, the extra diamond. We did have one more, here it is. So we have all the diamonds we need. We just need that sulfur, which I know is, it's out. It's, uh... Dude, these are the absolute best ever. I love these things. I know we have some over by our base over there. Alright, let's do it. Let's find Slothamus. <laughs> it's time to go, Slothamus! Oh, oh my gosh! Here we go. Okay. And we found this artifact. Pretty darn sure. I'm like trying to jog my memory of like where I've seen that sulfur as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing it over on the, uh, the land. You go ahead and shut this off. And actually, we gotta turn on our other base. So it's down this way. Yeah, that sulfur, I, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing that over on land. It's probably in like multiple places and stuff, but. Let's see if we can see like where Philip is, you know? Down that way. Which is like right over here. <laughs> Not a whole lot of things really messing with our with our sea truck, you know? We got attacked by that giant shrimp thing when we neared to the dead zone, but it was fine. It, it really didn't do much damage. It wasn't like when the Reaper, you know, that Reaper gets a hold of it. It's very tough. A little bit of gold. All right. Heading back to everyone's favorite island. Which we need to come back here anyway. Pretty sure I remember seeing some even in like one of these. That's alright. Let's go into a cave. Might need to get my flashlight out. Let's get our regular flashlight equipped. And yeah, we can just get rid of the habitat builder. This is pretty good. He'll be around here somewhere. Here we go. Exactly what we need. But it's only one. I would like to uh, grab a couple. No. Oh. <laughs> you can do it, Robin. You can do it. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Very nicely done. Um, all right, cool. Now we have enough for that laser cutter. I'm going to uh, just grab a tiny bit more from one more cave. 
Here we go. Even though sometimes it's so fused in, you can't grab it. Right? What the heck? Can we grab this one? Yeah, some of them get so fused. We are officially ready. <laughs> we're not holding back. Just gonna eat all of this while we're at it. Cool. Alright. Let's head back to Slothamus. And take a little bit of damage in the process. So... Now that we're going to have the laser cutter, there are a couple things I know I want to do. One, there was a wreck that we had to uh, enter. We entered it. We found like the cool miracle of sound so uh, song that I still need to listen to. But there is a door we couldn't access because we need a laser cutter. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is the iceberg. There was an iceberg that needed uh, a laser cutter. So hidden base is 400, that one is 500. Let's go back to hidden base, make this laser cutter, and then let's head over to the iceberg. Shall we do that? <laughs> we did find that first, so yeah, we'll go do that. Boost! I wonder if they're going to, like, do they have nitrous as an option? Right. It's a massive burst of speed. It looks so sick, though, man. I really like the uh, this, man. Like, that coral, whatever it was called, where it looks like all the tentacles. That's one of my favorite, like, unique things about Below Zero. All right, you wait right here, my friend. I'll be right back. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take this off of our screen. Just looking at the beacon manager. It's just the new artifact. That's like their way of telling us, hey, we haven't done this before. Let's build this. Laser cutter! Cutting device suitable for penetrating standard titanium doors. Let's go. Awesome. And that was it. Yeah, very interesting that we haven't found any uh, time capsules or anything around here. Guess we'll get rid of the other thing. Check this out, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Yeah, I say let's go for that iceberg. Go see what's up. Heck yeah. Let's do it, everyone. And I'm just kind of going off of memory, but I'm pretty sure it was, it was like off in this direction. Hollow Iceberg. It was over by the, uh, the life pod. Let's just see if like any of these other ones are maybe a bit hollow on the inside. This one isn't, I don't think. Let me just get out. No. Okay, can't enter that one. So nice. Oops. All right, we're good. We're still good. Going to turn on our life pod. Drop pod, because I know it was like on that side of the, uh, the drop pod. Ah, oh, there it is. That's really close. <laughs> And then also, actually, let's take off all our blueprints. Dang. We are just destroying this truck. No, this thing actually takes many hits. What up, Philip? Seeing a uh, penguin there. Okay. We also have to, like, create the robot penguin at some point. Okay, Sunny. Not Sunny. Frosty. Okay, Frosty. Where the heck was that thing? <laughs> Where was it? It was over by the eye jellies. Is 
anyone see it? It's going to be hollow. It was really... It was pretty deep. Going pretty far below, man. Yo, look at this place, though. Like, look how sick this structure is. I'm going to turn off my... Turn off everything right now. Let's just, like... Let's get immersed, dude. Just out of curiosity, let's go down here for a moment. Just see what's up. Looks pretty sick. It's probably nothing. Yeah, it kind of just keeps dipping. But you never know. That's the thing. I stumbled across some, like, really awesome things in the base of Nautica game just <laughs> kind of doing this exploring for fun yeah yeah I mean we did find this right this one was pretty darn hidden wait wait did we find this one already Warning. 100 meters. <gasps> oh my gosh decreased. let's go I know it this is huge. This is, I knew we were going to find this. I kid you not, after I built the oxygen tanks. I knew it. That's just how it works. I'm going right back. Wait, wait, but no, let's scan around. I can't believe it. I almost thought this is where we, uh, we've been here. <laughs> Dude, we finally found the rebreather. I'm like, I don't even know how many episodes in right now. That is insane. What a struggle it has been. I gotta read up on the rebreather, but I'm pretty darn sure what it does. It, I mean, look, the color's on display. Look how epic this shot is right now. I love like the background, that color right over there of these. Looks so nice. It's like, what the rebreather does, I'm pretty sure, is it means when we go under 100 meters, we don't start losing oxygen crazy fast. So that is huge. There's absolutely nothing else here. Not even like a PDA would, would have been pretty nice. But hey, man, we got the rebreather. We got the best thing. The, the only thing I really wanted for Christmas. Wow. Oh, just made that shot even cooler. That is just so sick. Yeah, this is like... The lily pad place is really amazing. I do love that. But uh, yeah, this part right here is... Um, really awesome so i'm gonna just go and create this let's take a look at our blueprints please tell me i don't need a modification station for this one I'm like going so fast i must be missing it there it is so easy it's so easy to make this like this is something you're supposed to find so much earlier i don't know let me know if you've played this everybody did you find this way later did you find it much earlier on your first playthrough were you struggling for oxygen just like me i know some people were saying they didn't find the better oxygen tank until way later and that was something that we found very early on like episode two or something crazy i don't know which one it was uh, but what it looks like is this area has an entrance where, like, it, it goes lower and lower and lower. Kind of like... Yeah, kind of like how certain places in the first game led you down into the Lost River. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from, uh, from this. Okay. Yo, I'm just gonna go right to the, uh, the drop pod. Even though I don't know if we have enough silver, that might be the only thing. We need a little bit of, uh silver ores I'm just gonna go ahead and scan there's a grav trap here it's really tough to I, I thought I saw one there it is <laughs> we already have it but it's kind of there's always this internal battle going on when I see something that can be scanned even though I were like a, some you know material or equipment or something even though I've already scanned it it's tough to uh, not want to to scan it anyway like this right here i'm pretty sure i passed it but it's free titanium i don't think it shows back up i think it's like a one and done right and we do have resources in our life pod 
Do we have silver? I don't know. But it's been a minute since we've entered the life pod anyway. Another thing I've noticed is like, when you enter the life pod, if you've been gone for a bit, if, you've ent if you enter your base, whatever it is, like, Alan might hit us with a message. But I'm not ready right now, Alan. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I guess that's kind of this game's way of playing the radio. Remember I just wouldn't answer the radio in the other game? Ah, uh, good times. All right, Alan, you called? No. <laughs> Actually, not at all. We have no silver. Oh my gosh, this is where it all went. Ah, oh, man, I need a little bit. I just need silver. Okay. Well, um, what we'll do is... Why did I bring all this with me? Let's just leave this stuff here. Heck, even leave the copper. We got so much extra titanium. Let's head over back. Let's go back to our <laughs> hidden base. Let's see if we can find it without turning on the blueprint, okay? If, like, we have that muscle memory now. I want to say it's, like, right here. If we keep going straight, we should run into it in five, four, three, two, and one. It is right. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> that wasn't bad, actually. Dude, I, I just I just make all this stuff up, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Dude, that might be the saddest video game dead for like a creature. Are you kidding me, guys? I've never felt so bad running something over in Subnautica. That's brutal. Oh my gosh, their friend just is here. Like, dude, what the heck? What the heck happened? No, uh, actually, they're just eating something. Dang, guys. I mean, F's. F's in the comments for, uh, you know, for this penguin. It wasn't Philip. It wasn't Philip, everybody. That wasn't Philip. Before someone tries saying it was, Philip is chilling right now. That was crazy, dude. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, the saddest thing. They, like, had did that, and then... <laughs> I was going to change this to a bit of a different shade of red. Um, Just wanted a bit... A bit like that. Heck, yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. Yeah, that, that looks more red to me, right? You know what? The universe chose green for Slothamus, so I'm just going to keep it at green. We still have so much going on here. This thing is still powering us up. Yeah, just uh, me looking for a bit of silver. Ooh, that actually worked out perfectly. We have all that, we have all that, we have everything we need. Yeah, that's everything. I didn't even have to go out searching. Thank you. Alright, make the wiring kit. But yeah, I can't believe that they like cut out the music as well. Like, <laughs> it was just absolutely brutal as soon as we ran that thing over. Here's our rebreather. Finally, for weeks, this is what I've, I've been wanting. As soon as we did all our recordings yesterday for the past couple episodes, this is the one thing I've always wanted. It would, it would have made everything so much easier. It was so stressful going down constantly in the last couple where like the screen was actually fading to black. It was brutal. We managed to survive, except for once. <laughs> Rebreather conserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. The Rebreather facilitates oh extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. Breathe the freedom. For real. For real. Um, it's already equipped as well. That's awesome. Yeah, that's actually incredible. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just get to it then. All right, Slothamus, it's time to get out of here. Let me just see if, uh, this is... Is this, uh... 
Is the corpse still here? Aw, oh, y'all are crazy, dude. I just, I gotta move this like a bit away. I'm sorry, unless can I like make a grave? I'm sorry, dude. You just gotta take your nap somewhere else. All right, take your nap somewhere different. I don't know what happened. Right, what a weird uh, sleeping position here our friend has. I'm just going to uh, bring you like way, way over here. There we go. Uh, does anyone have a shovel by any chance? Okay. There we go. Just hide it. Hide it in the bushes, dude. This is like Assassin's Creed. There it is. Oh my gosh. I mean, Robin, how could you? You monster. Kill a penguin for crying out loud. There you go. It's hidden. You can't even see it. Like, wow. Yeah, no one's ever going to look there. Yep, there it is. It's completely vanished. <laughs> oh, there it is, everyone. Wow. Okay, now I'm actually... Oh, it's just... They have, the vibes are just so much better around here. I'm going to be haunted by that ghost. Oh, no. Is it going to be like the ghost of the bone sharks? Okay. I, I just love this game. I have way too much fun. Thank you, everyone, for vibing with me. Okay, I'm going to have to go super crazy slow. Like, what's this guy's deal? Oh, just like the little baby one? Wait a second. Dude, is this a robot? No, it's a pangling. That's one of the baby ones. Oh, no, I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, I don't know why. It just looked like the robot one to me. And the robot, the design is so convincing, I guess. Okay. Okay, nice and easy, crazy slow. We got to, I mean, heck, we're the, it's the sloth we're dealing with. Sloth miss out here. We're asking for nitrous? We can't even handle this speed, apparently. Okay, shut off. Oh no, all we have is actually uh, the drop pod. So yeah, we want to go this way. That's amazing though. So now we can go 300 below with sloth miss, our sea truck. And we can also go maybe 200? Can we go 200 with that? Actually, I imagine it'll be right here. No. Okay, random here what I found. Tornado plants, tornado, tornado plates. Tornado plates are an underwater mushroom with an inner cage surrounded by a swirling chitin structure. The mushroom's wildly unusual morphology is not currently understood. What the heck, right? It looks like, yeah, it does look like a tornado, a twister. Pretty cool. We're going slow, we're chilling. Okay, now we can go back this way. That, that was so crazy though how that worked out, right? Like. I was just like, you know what? I want to head to this iceberg, but also kind of explore on the way. And it totally worked. There are times I am sitting here and I love doing that stuff. But I hope, you know, I definitely would love to find things. You know what I mean? As well. And sometimes we find things, sometimes we don't. I mean, that's what we talked about even in the last episode. But it was definitely worth it, right? Um, let's go ahead and shut this off drop pod is officially off okay pardon me bladder fish okay so what we're looking for is something like this you see how deep it goes but it's not that one as far as i know now we're doing this at night I just feel so tempted. Like, I want to go explore all the caves. <laughs> uh, the Subnautica effect where you want to do a million different things, right? Yeah, at least we, we've never run over a, a sea monkey. It's just so adorable. Yeah, all right. We're in the right territory right now. It's going to be somewhere around here. It's going to be somewhere around here. Below. Below all this. It's a pretty huge one. 
be a little bit easier during the day. Is it this one? I feel like it went deeper than this. Just appreciating that. So cool. It's like a sonic track, the way it like loops around and stuff. Okay, we're heading west. We do need to be a bit careful. Okay, what do we got here? This is also something worth following. Something worth following here. We've got this. Yeah, it's broken, but heck man, should we follow that right now or no? It's going all the way into this? Yeah, I was looking for this in one of the episodes. I couldn't find it. So many things. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have the eye jellies. This was the one thing I found. I found it one time and then I never was able to find it again. I'm gonna leave, I'm leaving the truck. Well, you know what? We do have our, our uh, thermos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being here and seeing that? Like, if you saw that in the water, would you freak out? Dang, dude, this is going way out here. My dude, look at this eye jelly. Guys, look at this eye jelly over here. Oh man. Um oh we got something over here. Let's go under. That was just so wild, dude. Ah, oh, these are so awesome. So it goes over here. It has to, it, it probably has something to do with that base that's there. Dang, this goes way out this way. That's so cool. That's sick, man. I really thought it was, uh,. Kind of where we were yesterday with the eye jelly. We found the dead zone so fast that this could be it right here. This could be it. The thing that we're looking for. It isn't. Yo, let's go up to our uh, our friends here for a little bit of oxygen. Get a bunch of these. These these are so good. Seek fluid intake. Pretty sure these give us a bunch. Do they give us 20? I wonder if we can plant these. Because these are just crazy good. Alright. Where are you? We don't have our sea truck with us, but it's fine. It's right there. It's going to be like right next to one of these. Heck, it might even be this one. Let's go up real quick. Whew. It's a rush. Ready? Just love it feeling so immersed. And this music is so, uh. Just a good job of feeling like, you know, like we're discovering something. Heck is this thing? Even though right now we have discovered nothing. It's so funny, I was I found it the first time. A hollow iceberg. But and, and I couldn't find the alien stuff that we just found, and right now it's reversed. Found the alien thing, but can't find the iceberg.
Hmm. Dude, this is this is like crazy. I don't remember it being like this tucked away. I really wish uh, Frosty would say that again. Or maybe what I should have done is I should have... Uh, maybe I should have made a beacon. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually just test out our new tank. Look, we got a hundred more seconds. We can keep exploring this way. A little bit. I don't think it's here though, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean we can't look around. I actually think this might be towards our life pod maybe. Where the heck is it? Is it this one? I'm trying to remember if there was like a indicator above. It was a very, you know what? I think I can, I think I can remember which one it was. It might be this one. I remember it being like a really tall thing. That'd actually be pretty incredible if it was this one. That'd be pretty awesome. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not. It's not this one. Dang, bro. Is it? This is tough. This is very tough, everyone. The search. The search for this. Uh, this ice cube. This giant iceberg. Hmm. Let's go out. Let's go out this way. You know where it was? It was like next to those uh, seal-like creatures. And I haven't really seen any of those around here. Let me turn around as well. That's crazy that I haven't been able to find this thing. One thing I do like better about the Seamoth is the visibility when you leave the water. Um, just doing this, I could see way more out of the Seamoth. I'm just pressing this one button. Let me go look. Let's look down here. Let's look down here. What would, what would be the chances, right? Dude, if y'all know where it is and I've like gone by it a million times, what the heck? Like this, I'm telling you, this looks like the thing from what I remember. Maybe it was like a side entrance or something. Dude, this is crazy. Help me out. Yo, Philip, help me out, man. Where the heck is it? The hollow iceberg. Man, maybe I just, maybe I imagined it. Maybe it doesn't exist. Let's head over this way. Like, that seems pretty tall. Hmm. Right, I mean, this... This right here seems so, uh... Seems like a pretty good contender. But I'm just not seeing any of those, uh, little creatures. The eels, whatever. Dang, bro. Were there more icebergs out? Oh, 
gosh. All right. See what happens if we go out this way. And like now the fog is about to hit. So we can't see anything. All right, there are some, there is a bit of ice over here. We have this. Does anyone see those, uh, those seal creatures? I feel like I haven't seen them in the longest time. Here it's getting a bit thicker. What do we got here? This looks pretty promising. Let me go above. Yo, here are the seals. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good, everyone. What's up, buddy? <laughs> this is who we ran into. Though this one specifically doesn't see really ring a bell. Oh, what do we got here? What does it mean? Yo. Oh, y'all are y'all are killing me, dude. Don't tell me this means we need like a pangling thingy. Is that what these are these are indicators for? It's like pick up snow is what shows up. Let's get our thing back. That might be it, because we can't crouch. For whatever reason, we refuse to crouch. <laughs> That's just wild. Oh, we've got some peppers up in here, everyone. We could probably eat this. I imagine this helps with our temperature. Oh my gosh, this is crazy good, dude. That's, that's insanely good. So this is the fevered pepper tree. The fevered pepper tree produces fruits with high levels of that word, which helps raise body temperature and stimulates blood flow. <laughs> Dude, these are crazy good, man. Just uh, take a couple of those. Yeah, nothing gets, nothing goes down. Well, that, that was worth it. At least we found a new plant. Definitely love that. My gosh, look at all this fog. It makes it so much tougher. It's like not even nighttime. Okay, so it might be like, it literally could be this one. I'm gonna jump down. It could be this one, I kid you not. Please. Those are just the seals, right? That's interesting. I'm seeing something over there. Okay, let's look at this one first. Oh my gosh. I was hoping it was this. I don't think it is though. Is it this? No, we were looking at this. <laughs> that looked cool. Darn it. And this, this is still not it. Come on! Oh, this one's pretty massive. This one's pretty big. I'm seeing an entrance. Please, 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 please. I found this so many episodes ago. Let me turn on my flashlight so I can see something. Epic shot of the eye jelly. Man. Still not, still not this one. Well. Let me go check this. It's just my, is my C truck right over here? I don't have my beacon turned on for it.
And we already checked this one, right? Dude, is my sea truck pointing at the thing the whole time? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Is this actually it? No, it isn't. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we would have checked this right away. This is insane, man. How the heck? I'm hearing it too. Hey, bud. I'm like trying to find the thing. Can you help me? This looks really promising. Just go check this. I don't know if we checked this one already. We haven't scanned this creature, so let's just scan them. It's the rock grub. They're chilling. Yeah, they just glow. We read this one in the first game. I'm on a mission right now. I'm sorry, rock grub. I just, I need to find this thing. And it could be this. It could be this. It, it, it might be. It might be everyone. Send your energy, please. Send your energy. Send your energy. It is. I have been looking for this for like 20 minutes. At least 20 minutes. I kid you not. Oh my gosh. Finally. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was determined. I knew we could find it. I knew we would find it eventually, right? That was really tough. It's crazy, like, they don't mark it. We have to, like, drop beacons and all that. There goes the piece of uh, ice, by the way. Wow. It's actually uh, very beautiful. Sorry, what is this? Oh, it's a creature egg. For the hoop fish, maybe. Okay, get me out. This is what we've been looking for. Dude, just... Oh, my gosh. All right. Use the... Here we go! Just... Am I just not meant to go in this thing? Finally! Okay, let's get our flashlight. We finally did it, everybody. It took forever, but we managed to do it. There has to be more than just one cube in here. I'm seeing... What are these? Diamonds? Let's go ahead. We need to scan it. We need to scan something. Or vein. Oh, snap. Resources behind loose rock. So is that why we found the copper in like the very first episode? Okay, well, I am going to have to eat uh, a bunch of these. These actually expire over time. We're grabbing all the diamonds. Oh my gosh, we got magnetite. There's actually a lot of really good resources in here. I didn't scan the magnetite. I, I, it's so funny because I'm like hearing something, but. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's it. But wait, there's more. I mean, this place is amazing. Don't get me wrong. It is really cool. I kind of want to make like it's a fortress of solitude. I wonder if our habitat builder would work in here. Oh, here we have some more, some more good stuff. Let's go ahead and just scan the magnetite already. <laughs> scan it now instead of like way down deep below. And we already did this. Uh, we made a bunch of, we used that a bunch in the last one. Okay, so we are officially full, but I just want to keep one of these peppers. I wonder if we could still plant it. Let's have that. We have gold. Cool. Was that the same exact one? Like, do they just keep... Does it keep spawning really good stuff? Right? And like, what is making that noise? Dude, there's even more. There's so much. <laughs> there's so... Okay. <clears throat> it was worth it. It was worth it. We hit like the mother load in here. 
I feel like it's like a PT situation. Like everything just keeps changing around me. Just gonna grab the silver. Um, here's the this. We just need a little bit more room, dude. Drop the snow. Why, why are we carrying snow? You, you still have more? I swear, if they just keep giving us. Okay. Um. Hmm. You know, this is taking up so much. It's really cool. It's really awesome. I would love to take that. Just want to go check right now and see if if it's spawned back on this side. <laughs> or maybe I just kept missing it. Or maybe you have to like completely grab everything. Like does does the stuff keep uh, refilling in here? Like right now I'm having a tough time even finding what where that uh, batch came from. It's like, oh here it is, here it is. Okay. Actually looks like there might be even more back there. Let's see, just out of curiosity, can we Can we build something in here? Like that that definitely, you know, wouldn't really make sense about foundation. It would be so cool to have like a little Oh alright. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Our own little fortress of solitude. I think that's actually really fun. <laughs> Dude, it's like how what we what we what like would we do for power in here? But uh heck, I might just make something anyway. It's because it's going off of the seabed, but I'm going to create something anyway, dude. We have our own fortress of solitude. Wow. This is going to be like our real getaway place. That's so sick. I think our base just got even more hidden, right? That's really cool. Uh, let me grab this. So you can imagine if you saw a face right here. Darn! That'd be, that'd be some horror movie type stuff. Yeah. I really wish we had a beacon for this. We might actually be able to make one. Oh, no, no. You need the fabricator, I think. Okay. Um, can we drop anything that would kind of mark this place? I guess not. That was really cool. Yeah, that was worth it, dude. Oh my gosh, there's even more. This is incredible. I love this. That's that's amazing. I bet there's so much. There's that's insane. Wow. Like, absolutely incredible. I don't remember seeing this stuff. Yo, I can't remember. It's been a while since I found this in that one episode, but like to actually explore it is uh, really, really amazing. There's uh, one more thing I wanted to try while we're still here. Yeah, it's like, what would be the best way to power a base in here? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm seeing the, the trouble of building a base in here is that it really needs to, actually, I don't want to, don't want to do that. Kind of needs to be a multi-purpose room, I think. Right? Or it could be like... You know, it would be cool would be an observatory right above this. Would that work? Yeah. I want to make some, like, light sticks and stuff, too. Like, this would be totally like a Batcave situation. Aw, oh, man. 
Very neat. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Very much worth it. I, I just don't get like, how the heck does our sea truck not have storage? Right? Like, that's just pretty crazy. Um, all right, here's the sea truck. Sloth the moose! Because I would love to be able to just drop this stuff off. So it's where the hoop fish are. You just see above what it looks like. You know, like this is what I mean. It was so massive above, but it is a bit out. Hmm. Let's get Slothamus over here. And let me just turn on, just turn on, let's say our drop pod. 800 guys, 800 meters. Eight hundred meters for that. That's just crazy. Okay. It was right. It was this one, right? You see how they're all similar? <laughs> it's very easy to get them mixed up. Looks like it could be the I have something important what? to share. Another artifact. Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant <laughs> import. I know. <laughs> Signal location uploaded to PDA. This is the one. Dang, man. So we have another one. We have another one, guys. Another place. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to see if there was anything under this. I imagine that's like really the only, the only hollow one here. Oh, but that's like weird. Like why was there a random alien cube there? You know? Okay, let me go ahead and swap oh, brutal okay so what am I doing right now Slothamus is right there I'm leaving Slothamus behind I need to go make a beacon and I'm not I'm not going through that again I refuse so I'm heading back over to our life pod which I believe is the closest one out of everything we have um Where's my hidden base one? Ah, here it is. Warning. Oh, funny enough, hidden base is even closer. Relax! Okay, yeah. So we're gonna just head over to hidden base and I'm going to craft really fast. Oxygen. Yep, we're getting it. I wanna craft a beacon. I don't wanna have to go through all that again. All right? really valuable resources in there and I think it would be really fun to kind of just uh, you know my creative side I have to experiment a little bit to uh to see what the deal is now the bad news is <laughs> we're about to run out of power with uh with this <laughs> so that's a bit of a bummer I'm just seeing what's going on down here I mean while we have a moment of just everything is chilling I'm just going to drop. Why do I have a random flare? There we go. Dude, did not mean to pick up the salt. I was never really one to uh, to use the salt, right? There's a sea truck here. Okay, we're heading to hidden base. And we have all this back. Yeah, because that would be really cool. That'd be a really fun little spot. The sound effects right now are kind of tripping me out a little bit. But it's good to know that, like, we have another, yet another 
alien artifact. Those are so fun. So it's, I imagine, a little bit like the, uh, the life pods from the first game. I wanted to drop these resources off as well because we just got so much. We're completely out of inventory space. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Right off the bat, can we make a beacon? That would be amazing if we could. What are we missing? What the heck do you need for one? Oh, it's right here. There we go. Nice. Um, I'll just make a random wiring kit. Just to uh, get rid of some of our, our space. Okay. We can charge this battery. Very nice. So this titanium, we got copper, we've got lead. What are we thinking? I guess we could do one for gold. Would that sound like a pretty good idea? It's like, who the heck are we and what have we done to uh, Dreamality, right? Like, <laughs> this is way, way different. <laughs> we just grabbed so much gold though. And then what would really be nice is uh, a silver. We need a little bit more titanium. Don't know if we have enough. We do. We just locked out. Hmm. Well, this is all bonus stuff. We have this as well. We have this. I would love to have one of those. Uh, one more one more thing to plant here, but yeah, we're just really out. So I'm gonna leave this in here and I hope we can still use that later. Okay. Really sick. So yeah, we'll go drop this off, this beacon. I'm pretty sure we got everything else we need. So now we're just gonna head back to Slothamus. <laughs> Yo, what an amazing day, guys. What an amazing day, everyone. Feels so nice. It was uh, raining earlier. Just a nice day to be cozied up inside, right? What are we going to make the secret code word for this episode? I feel like the most fitting thing is just going to be search. Because we were searching like crazy. So it could be searching, it can be search. You decide. You know, there's definitely like a, I feel like there's a sound effect that plays when I'm around those things, but I could be wrong. Could just be my imagination. Now the question is, what's the next play? Should we go down? We're kind of near one of those alien artifacts and it would be nice to get a little bit of redemption. We tried going down there already. Uh, in the last episode or the episode before. And it was uh, not very good. These uh, cryptos are like the most aggressive things in this. They, they really do remind me of the bone sharks. Like he's still chasing me. <laughs> he's so sick though. Okay. So, here's Slothamus. I do like that nothing really has messed with our... Like, did I leave the lights on? You know? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I don't really have to worry about our trunk getting attacked. I'm going to swap oxygen tanks really quick. And I'm going to drop off this beacon. So, I'm just going to name this the uh, fortress because it's like the fortress of solitude but what I'm thinking is even more fun is this is like we had the life pod right then we had hidden base then we had VIP base so this is our fourth spot I'm gonna call it this it's the fortress right of solitude that's even more perfect, because it's our fourth spot where we're going to eventually have a little bit of something. 
Okay, now, with all of that done, where the heck is my, uh, where's my sea truck? Dude, where's my sea truck? Ah, uh, here it is. Slothamus! We get all this oxygen back and I'm swapping tanks. Okay, so we got a whole lot, dude. I would never really do that. In the first game, like, is this even the same player? If y'all watched my first playthrough, there were two things I really didn't do until very later, a lot later. I didn't use beacons until a lot later, right? To help me find those portal places. So we're actually leaving this stuff around, which is so nice. Yo, swap. Yeah, okay, is it full now? <laughs> now it's full, I might've misclicked that. And the second thing I, I've never, I never used to really do was I never, um, this is the other one. I never really made storage specifically for like for specific things until the very end of the last playthrough. Really like the Cove Tree base, but it wasn't, yeah, it was just okay. Yeah, it wasn't horrible, but wasn't really great either. I'm, I'm tempted to grab this quartz. This quartz is kind of just calling my name. And we're going to need more glass. Dude, it's so crazy dark. Turn the lights on. My gosh. Yeah. So I say let's go check out this, uh, the artifact. Get a little bit of redemption. I think it was more around this way. Honestly, is what we ended up doing. Right? Yeah, this is a good sign. It kind of breaks a little bit. And it was like uh, the scientists were working around here. Hopefully this is the right spot. It might not be. We'll really know if I can just see the... <laughs> you know, it's dropping here. This is probably fine. Let's go down. It's a really cool entrance. This will be our first time really testing the rebreather as well and like how deep we can go before we start having problems. Here it is. We had a really awesome message in the last one too, like a nice r reading of lore. And it was, dude, is that like still my hoop fish or something? Did I drop that and it's like still there? What the heck is that? Um, or it might be that alien egg. I can't believe the game remembers all this stuff, but we got to read up on like the Aurora and all that and that was such an amazing moment really cool to be reading up on that again so maybe we'll find some more things uh, when we enter there it's gonna be nice not having to worry as much about about all of that right about uh dying so okay you guys ready y'all ready to do this just a little bit of a reminder before we get in there. If y'all have been having fun, you've been enjoying this series, press the like button, everyone. Help us grow. We're getting so close to 2,222 subscribers here on the channel at the time of this recording. And 22 is my favorite number. So, it, it will, yeah, it really means a lot. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting this channel, for supporting me. It really is so amazing. So, thank you. Let's have some fun. Let's get a little bit of redemption as we head back down. So, like, already it would be playing Oxygen is going to be going down a lot faster. Because, yeah, we were under 100. I don't know what it is with the rebreather. Is it, like, 300? Like, this is so much better. So much better. I'm, like, so used to looking at these two trying to find stuff. But we haven't really found anything uh, here. What we got... We've got the thermal plant. Can't remember if we actually found everything we needed, but it doesn't look like it. Now we got we got everything we need. Okay. I'm also going to quickly swap to my air bladder. Let's swap to the air bladder instead of the habitat builder. We got something else. It's like the control room. Or is it? Is it just thermal plant again? I'm going to. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. I'm also going to swap the scanner and my glider. Oh, we didn't grab this. We just weren't really wasting time down here <laughs> last time. I've got the prawn suit. It was very tough to say no to so much of this. 
But we did scan this one. We got our friend right here. Who's uh, just chilling. Now they're waking up. Okay, we got another cargo thing. Okay, let's cut this up. That's really cool too, I forgot. Yeah, we actually need the laser cutter for some of these things. Ooh, we got a power cell. A free power cell? Heck yeah. Okay, so kind of what I want right now is this. <laughs> I remember there was one here. It's just so we don't have to swap just yet. And we got we got the prawn suit with this one. I think there was like four total. Imagine if we can actually go inside that. That'd be sick. We do have another PDA. Let's go. Oh, I feel tempted. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. Got the trail I wouldn't on. say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Wow. I love that. I love hearing more about what's going on. That's interesting. We're hearing about the workers that were down here. And it's like, where the heck did everybody go? Got the habitat builder thing. There was an upgrade right here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Got a prawn suit jet upgrade. Let's just go ahead and grab this. We're not done yet. We have... Just going to double check my oxygen tank. Make sure the other one's all good. It is. So we will be able to swap. No upgrade on this side, right? Just try scanning this thing just in case we can't. Okay. Okay, where was the next plant? Because that's really what was throwing me for a loop. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So amazing, everyone. Come on. 30 seconds. Dude, this is so creepy. Come on. <laughs> Headlamp. Oh, that's that's amazing. Oxygen. I can't swap, I can't swap. We got it. What the heck, dude, Aurora, another Aurora, another Aurora thing, guys. Oh man, all right. All right, all right, um, it's just too amazing. I'm gonna grab everything we can. Get more oxygen. Dude, there's so much to see down here. The um the headlamp sounds really good if that's something we can build. I'm gonna go over here to the left, and I really hope there's another plant around here. We have another drill arm fragment. We have everything we need for that now. Okay, how is there a plant here? Wow, that looks really cool. I'm okay. I'm backing out, everyone. I'm backing out really quick. I want to return with full oxygen. I want to be able to scan that. I know we're about to have a really nice story moment. Well, I, you know, I guess. Yeah, I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it safe, everyone. I'm refilling my tank. I don't want to deal with that stress. We had enough stress in the last episode. But in the meantime, I will scan some of these things. We got another thermal plant. Let's take a look. See another one? Dude, there's so many thermal plant things here. Okay, let's head all the way back up. The alien thing there looked really cool, though. Looked like we could scan something. 
I just like we can't bring the sea trunk down here. Oh, it's actually a really good thing. <laughs> it's actually really good that we uh we're going back because our thing just died. We need to swap batteries. That's how much we're using it. Isn't that crazy? I'd be so scared. Ready? Let's go back in. I'm pretty sure we can't fit this thing through there. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> oh, I tried, everyone. I really don't think we can. Okay, let me swap tanks. High capacity, 90 seconds and 90 seconds. Jeez. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll just... Swap out the battery of our... Yeah, our habitat builder. And let's go ahead and put this back in there. Happy we got a free upgrade. Okay, ready? So like, why is this at 135? Why is this at 135 and our other tank is way lower? Like oxygen right now is 126. But then when I swapped the tank, it went to like, it started at 80 or something. It looked really cool, whatever the heck that was though, for our friend Alan, it was like a statue. We picked up a lot of really good things as well, at least around that area, so we know we don't need to. You know, most likely grab anything, which is which is nice, I say, as I'm just gonna grab that diamond. Diamonds are just too good. I like that they made some of the just regular chest like harder to open. You need the laser cutter for that. That's fun, right? I mean what the heck is out in that direction? They they were getting so many resources. It's crazy how much mining and stuff. Like humanity's like leaving its mark on this planet. Oh my gosh, it was this right here. Reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Of course. 100% we're going to. We got our second. We got an alien statue. <laughs> Dang, it's like so crazy. Like all the humans were here and they were lighting this. This is one of the things that they found. What the? Pick up creature egg? I mean, do we think that's going to be just the lobster thing? I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it, but I don't know. If it's actually worth bringing with us. I just have a feeling, it, you know, if it was directly in front of this, it's gotta be pretty epic. There's a second one right here. Our inventory is now full, that's crazy. Maybe, it, I don't know, the egg is too big for that creature. Let's grab this oxygen. Yo, I can't believe it's so massive. Dude, we're like actually running out of water constantly. That constant struggle. Okay, let's now, it's gotta be one of these, right? Yeah, it, it seems like the, uh, the claws of it has the spikes, so. Oh, well, I grabbed it, so. We're probably going to have to get it eventually. So sick. There's another oxygen plant. Oh, all right. We have another prawn suit. Dang. Diamonds, so many. Is this the last one we need for the prawn suit, everyone? I think we were at three. We got the prawn suit! Let's go! We're going to make LePron proud. 
we got the drill arm i'll take it but i think we're now at like full capacity warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining 54 let's see we're at 54 right now let's see what it's at when we need more we got so much gold This seems to be the end of the road for... I think I just saw that thing punch. Look at him. What did he just get? <laughs> 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Wow. He was just like breaking apart the rock or something. Oh, man. Come on, oxygen plant. Do your thing. Oxygen. Yeah, it's a bit of a vicious cycle. Look, look, it's doing it. It's breaking the rock. Warning. And it's like 30 eating seconds it. seconds of oxygen remaining. That's so amazing. All right, it's time to head back, everyone. Time to head back. Nothing else down here. So 300, that's about as deep as we've gone. Okay. At least we don't have that bug from the first game where like all the audio gets drowned out. That was really sick. We should be pretty good. I, there was actually a plant here, so. Let's just do one more quick scan and grab a plant. Yep, doesn't seem like anything. I, I might just, bro, I'm just, I'm dropping the egg. <laughs> I'm dropping the egg. Oh, after all of that. Okay, let's head out of here. There's nothing above, right? Nope. Okay. Let's do it, everyone. We got so many things. We got to read up on Altera and see what happened uh, with the Aurora. What was the next part of that story? So much fun. And we're, we're so thirsty yet again. Let's see what... Uh, we have the prawn suits. We have, like, the new headlamp or something. Which sounds really neat. Surprised there's not like any mysterious music or anything playing down here. We got a lot. We got a lot. We also got the thermal plant here. Guess I'll take this. We're pretty much good, but. Okay. Let's get out of here. So did you use the air bladder a lot in this game, everyone? Let me know. Was that something you kind of carried around with you, or...? And there's no way to open these up. As far as I could tell, even though... How do I get in there? Hmm. Very interesting. How the heck do we get in there? Yeah. Not sure. Maybe eventually we'll be able to, or maybe they're just teasing us. That was really cool. That was really sick. Um, Seek fluid intake immediately. Alright, let's head back to hidden base. That was really awesome. Totally worth it. So much better with the rebreather, right? Can you imagine if we went all the way down there, I probably would have died again. 
probably would have died. It was so crazy stressful, so tough. And we have been collecting a ton of very nice resources. The struggle for water has been... Yeah, I, you know what it is? It's probably just because I don't have my water filtration, like, machine. We gotta see if Margaret has one of those that we can scan. Because I always used to take bottles of water with me out when I would go, but... We, we don't have that. Man, I better not die from dehydration. Be very upset. We're right there. We're so crazy close. <laughs> Come on, Slothamus. Pick up the pace. We're almost there. It's flashing red. I don't know how, how it goes down. If it's like in big chunks or if it's just little by little. I swear, dude. Don't do it. We're right here. Okay. Playing this dramatic music. We're right there, everybody. I'm out of here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Dude, get rid of this. Get rid of this. What the? Oh my gosh, that was so close. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm messing all that up, but jeez, we just didn't want to drink. I'm like dragging around a thing of titanium. Okay, so let's just put in titanium. Um, what was this one? This is silver. I didn't, I didn't name this one. There's silver. We got no gold. We got some copper. Yeah, we have none of that. So we'll just put this all in here. Things we don't really need. Dude, I'm just gonna drop the thermos, forget that. Taking up space. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Frosty. That was getting a bit stressful, not going to lie. Okay. Here's what I'm doing right now. I'm grabbing this. Oh no, get rid of all of these. I'm going to take this. I'm charging these two. And let's bring out the habitat builder. I'm gonna try creating one more plant. One more plant thing. Let's see if we can plant this really quick. Nice! Yo, we're gonna have our own little pepper tree. <laughs> yeah, because that's going to fill us up so much faster. All right, that was close. We have a free power cell, which will be great for the prawn suit when we make one of those. Let's get rid of this random flare. Um. Did not mean to grab this lithium. Just trying to organize a little bit. Put the titanium back in here. Then we've got silver. Very nice. Okay, everything's looking pretty decent. We can charge this up. There we go. Okay, one more thing that we have to do. For this episode. I don't know how long we've been, we've been going for already, but let's do one more thing, shall we? Something that is an absolute must. And that is the jukebox! We're going to create this. I'm going to put this right over... <laughs> put it right here. So we need uh, quartz and titanium, actually. That's not bad. Here's our titanium. Can we just, like, grab quartz? Here we go. Hopefully that's enough. Here we go, everyone. We're doing it. The We're creating the jukebox. You listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. <laughs> this is amazing. So how do I do it? What is the purpose of this device? It plays.
plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns with it. Is it mathematical? <laughs> Dang! All right. It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are stronger than music. Rhythm is math. Harmony is music. But the fading of the day. We experience it on an emotional level. A census has an impact on your thoughts <laughs> and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. Wow. That's so fun, man. We have the volume here, nice. That's better. Dude, I love that it has like the colors. And Miracle of Sound, dude. I've listened to a ton of their songs. Um, what was it, Goodbye Black Ops? From like, I think their first album. They've had like music for Bioshock and Minecraft and really fun. Zombie Paradise, Redemption Blues, you know, I Dream of the Sea, whichever, uh, which the Bioshock song, and then they had like an infinite song as well. That's so crazy to see them in this game. I've never heard this song before. I'm no more like way back in the day. <laughs> you know, their GTA song, Hey, uh, Nico, it's your cousin. Why don't you take me bowling? I'm pretty sure that's Miracle of Sound. They had like a Joker theme, a Joker song. So how many songs do we get? That's so sick. That's so cool, guys. So I think we found like a speaker too. Let me just like, we need titanium and copper. We could do that. Digging that. I actually don't think we have any, uh, we have any copper. Mm, we don't. Let's go get some real quick. <laughs> Yo, that is awesome. Dude, you can like hear the bass thumping. Hold up, hold up. That's so cool. What an amazing idea to like have that in the game. That's amazing. I love that. Oh, uh, we don't have our sea glide right now. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's copper. I'm just gonna grab this too. Two copper! Heck, there's even another one right here. We got some lead. Ready? That's so sick, dude. I'm gonna lower it. I imagine the speaker is more like, yeah, throw one on up here. What? Let's see. <laughs> That's so awesome. Dude, now I just want to make a bunch. <laughs> we only have two songs? Oh my gosh. We're going to have to. You can just have a song on repeat as well. How is it not repeating right now? There we go. Now it's good. Awesome. Well, that's really fun, man. I want to create one like massive, you know, room 
Right now, it's so confined. I mean, the acoustics in here are incredible. Don't get me wrong. That's so fun, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right, everyone. That was way too much fun. Let's go ahead and park our sea truck. I can't believe our base is still at full power. We haven't like thrown anything in there. All right. Well, we found only one song so far, the Miracle of Sound uh, of Sound song. So we need to find the other other music in this game. And that's really amazing. All right. It's that time, everyone. It's that time to say that does it for this episode. <laughs> Goes by so fast, right? But I had an amazing time and I really hope you did as well. Thank you so much as always for watching. If you could leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. All the support really does mean the world. It really helps me out. Thank you so much, everyone. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Later, later.